I know it's been a while since I've updated on this thing, but uh, I've had a lot of progress. This is my little robot guy. It is quite a bit more sophisticated than it was before. Right now it's not really autonomous because I don't have any sensors on it, but right now I'm running it on the LPC Expresso with the 1114, so it's a 48 megahertz ARM Cortex-M0, so it, it's pretty darn beefy, but what I've got now, instead of the, the, um, the plastic frame, I've got just a perf board frame with the wheels attached, and instead of a caster, I've got a uh, silicone, or uh, Teflon skid, and I found that I get a lot better control running it that way, but that's really not the cool thing that's running right now. Right now, I finally got the encoders on the wheels, and so I have full PID motor control of the motors. So right now, I don't think my PID values are set up very well, so I'm not running very fast, because I think I have really low gain, so I'm not running very well. But I also have uh, remote control, if you can see. I'm using the uh, TICC2500 evaluation model hooked up to an adapter that I made to hook it up to the LPC Expresso. And right now, I'm running it from a um, TI, uh, this is their FRAM experimenter board. I've got the another CC2500 evaluation module hooked up, at plus, but I've got the Wii Nunchuck uh, talking I squared C, and another thing I'm kind of proud of on this board is since the stupid I squared C hardware is built into the same spy interface that they're using to connect to the CC2500, I did bit bang I squared C to this guy, which really isn't that bad. But for some reason, I had issues. But it's up and running. It'll work on any pin on the microcontroller. It'll work. It's running in fast mode. It's running pretty well. Uh, right now, I'm running the wireless protocols that my dad wrote. I ported them to the Cortex-M0, so they're running on that guy. Right now, I'm running TI's plain old MSP430 to CC2500 radio library on this guy. But uh, thankfully, I'm running the same packet format and the same radio settings, so they understand and can have bidirectional communications to one another. Right now, I think I'm running at 250 kilobit, even though I'm really only sending a 30-byte packet every, I want to say, 60 times a second. So I'm not really taxing the radio much at all. But anyway, I thought you might like to see that. Expensive obnoxiously time-consuming remote-controlled car, but hopefully it'll be doing a lot more than just driving around. So I'll keep you updated.